hello and welcome to my channel we're gonna stream fortnite tonight to date in the previous video i explained you a little bit about uh, building mode no building mode today we're gonna play again no building mode but uh, not in solo and duo let's start so in the previous video I explained you a little bit about uh, no building mode from this menu here you choose no building mode and from the menu below you choose solo, duo, trio or squads so today we're gonna play duos in the last video I explained you a little bit about the settings so I'm gonna repeat once more from settings you need to choose your preferred item slot in Fortnite you have five slots which are bind to just to lower my volume So, in this mode, in these settings, you need to configure your preferred item slots. Like for example, if you have assault rifle on slot 1, it's your keybind 1, so when you press 1, will be assault rifle. If you don't have a salt rifle on slot 1, will be another weapon which is automatically there. But when you pick up an assault rifle, it will automatically load it to your slot 1. I'm not so good with shotguns, but they are very well, very good for close combat. So I'm using and another close combat weapon, SMG. SMG and for third slot I'm using Sniper. Usually the Sniper wasn't necessary because in the last season we had a, another long range weapon but now we don't have this weapon so it was another assault rifle but with scope which you can use but now we don't have this weapon in part 3 season 4 so for this moment sniper is the best, op best option to use and here you can have two consumables on keyboard, keyboard, keyboard 4, keyboard 5. Keyboard 1, 2 and 3 should be your weapons. And of course you have to switch on preferred item slots. So I'm level 30 as you can see, you level up throughout the game, you get experience, you get higher level, uh, the more higher level you are, 
it's usually putting you with more complex and experienced players but on this level I will be playing with not so experienced players so let's start a game on this is again I repeat this is no building mode Duels. Couple of seconds until the game starts. Okay, I'm gonna explain you a little bit about these menus here. Battle pass. If you get the battle pass, you need to pay 950 currency. The game has its currency in game. You can buy it. And sometimes they give you currency when you stay for the next season. From this battle pass, when you buy it, you can get these rewards here. These rewards on the left are free. You can get them even without the battle pass. But with the battle pass you can get some skins. Your personal appearance is changed from this skin. From here you change the wallpaper which every game shows when you on start on loading screen. You can get some custom paints, custom looks of your weapon, melee weapon, custom looks of your assault rifle, and custom look of how when you fall from the battle bus, hmm, how do you appear when you are falling down. And there is a lot of customizable skins on every each level. You need to reach reach level ten for this one, for these skins, and for the next level twenty, and so on and so on until you reach level one hundred. On level one hundred, all rewards will be available to you. If you really are into paying and supporting the team, Fortnite, uh, in the game, you can buy this battle pass and get all the rewards here. Here you have uh, some challenges and uh, you can events which you can participate in every event uh, it says if you can participate and when this does the event start so this event starts in eight hours so you can participate and see if you can reach some rewards there So you can see every Wednesday and Fridays you have zero build quick cup. I never participated so I don't know what the rewards are but you can check that online. Here's your walker which you can where you can change every skin you have. For example you can change your appearance. This is my mecha team leader skin which I which was given to me by a friend you can also send skins to your friends and appearances if you switch back to random it will uh, 
probably set your appearance back to normal but I'm using this skin so you equip it this is the back of your uh, this is what it shows on your back something like a backpack so you can customize your backpack as well this is your melee weapon you can customize it as well here I have some skins for example it can look like that this is your wings when you're falling down from the battle bus you get some wings and you have some emotes here and you have skins for every weapon you're using it can look like in a different color and appearance here you can customize your music in game and your wallpaper when the game starts so everything is customizable pretty much let's check the item shop the item shop is something like the battle pass the battle pass allows you some skins the item shop has uh, also a lot of skins which you can buy for uh, the in-game currency as you can see I have a thousand of this currency so I can buy something but uh, I'm saving for something better it gives you currency when you when the season changes as well and when you reach some goals the in-game currency helps you buy this and of course you can buy in-game currency from with your cash bank account um, so here you have a lot of appearances a lot of customizable weapons which you can use I see a lot of people using this alien appearance which is popular now and you can of course support the you can join the fortnite crew you will get battle pass crew pack with some customizable skins and some V-Bucks the V-Bucks is all strange it changes my movie music ok here is your career after item shop your career here is your achievements in Fortnite every time you there is achievements almost for everything so you can see I have some achievements here and it's uh, usually your achievements um, come with a date when you achieve them so you can see my first achievement was on 16th of January 22 and I have some more achievements here V-Bucks got the currency for the game you can see the prices are in my own currency so they will be in your own currency the price Mm, so you have some uh, discounts if you buy more and that's it from this menu so let's play one game and show you the zero build battle royale again but in du duo mode
We are waiting for the match to start. It usually doesn't take more than a minute. So there is your wallpaper. This is my wallpaper, but you can customize it as well. And here is some quick tips that is showing. So you can see everyone has different appearance, which makes you unique in this game. You can, of course, use the normal appearance, which is this one. If you don't care about appearance. So we're gonna start in five seconds. So we're playing duels. So I have a teammate here who is level 44. So usually when you play in teams, you need to follow your team, select a location which the two of you will go. For example, here. You can check around if some other players are coming. So we have other players here. So this will not be easy. We need to find the weapon very fast. Oh crap. Oh, that wasn't good. So we're gonna try again. I usually hate when that happens. They kill you from the start when you don't have a weapon. Let's try one more time. So to avoid uh, that, let's select a location first. You press M, open the map. Uh, usually, the bus is so the bus is coming on this line, the blue line. Usually, most of the people will jump until the middle of this line, so we don't want to jump there. We want to jump after the middle. For example, here. Rocky Rills, it's very famous location. You mark the location with your left button. And so we're hoping our teammate here will jump over there as well. We need to keep together because we are a team. So you can see the, the people are jumping, a lot of them. Most of them will jump before half of the map. Um, so we, we're gonna jump after half. So we are jumping. Our teammate selected this location as well. So he's coming here. We need to keep to, to be together. So 
so we are coming slowly let's see if other people are coming oh yeah there is a lot oh fuck I'm sorry I didn't want to say this so there is a lot of people here gonna kill them one by one so we killed one but the other killed us so he will help his friend over there let's see if my my friend will help me to get to him before I die okay that wasn't so nice again we die with from the first kill you can choose to stay with your team or play with a new team I'm gonna play with a new team Right now, we're watching the, the person who killed me. And after that, it changes to the person who kills him and so on, so on. Here's a quick tip. Okay, let's press M. Again, choose a location. This time, I'm gonna choose something more safe. Let's try this one. This is the pre-battle map. Uh, you can test your weapons here and uh, prepare for battle. Oh no, my guy wants to jump there, so I'm gonna follow him. What can I do? So in no building mode, usually pretty much you have to kill your enemies very fast since uh you cannot build because this is no building mode and you cannot protect yourself so you might as well wanna kill your enemies very fast or run away if you don't kill them
I'm gonna use the shotgun, but... Okay, let's see who is shooting there. Okay, where did my guy go? You usually need to go higher with a sniper. With everything, of course, you need to go higher on the rooftops. Okay, well, let's help our guy. Let's help our guy. Oh, this is a nice, a nice weapon. Let's keep it tight with our guy. I'm gonna change the shotgun since I don't use shotguns so, so often. What do we have here? Sniper. Yeah, not bad. We can buy ammo for me, but we have enough ammo for this sniper. We need some armor. Our guy is running, running away. He doesn't have armor as well. I need to boost him a little bit. Oh, that's a jump in the air. I'm gonna catch the guy. You need to keep together with your guy at all time. Help him whatever way possible. This is the way to play this game. Usually when you see someone a lot of in a pretty great distance usually you don't shoot him because you need to, f to kill people faster and because you don't have anything to protect yourself 
like in building mode for example oh there we go wow he killed him very fast let's take his ammo sniper probably it's my guy will take it Reload your weapons. Always look around, always check if someone is nearby. Not using optics because optics... Uh, optics is for far away. You can now use optics of course. Of the sniper. To check far away positions. So my guy is leading, I'm just following. Keep it tight, keep together with him. Protect him. So we see a nice chest over there. I'm gonna split with him a little bit. Just for a little while. Nah, chest was shit. So I'm gonna try and catch up to him now. I can use the vehicle. From this board you, you can start a, start a bounty. Bounty is giving you mm, precise, not exactly, no, but close location to someone who is here or, or someone who is nearby even if you're not that good like i am not that good on this game if you keep together with your team you're able to succeed So we are we have enough armor now. Don't need to collect even more armor. I think this this will help us till the end of the game. You need to climb up to a high position. This is your cue. You always need to climb up higher.
My guy was left behind. That's not so good. He's okay. Let's help him. That weapon which I'm carrying is a rifle, but it's semi-automatic, which is excellent. Since it's firing three shots, then again three shots, three four shots. Semi-automatic weapon, very rare to find, but very effective. Even from long distances. So let's reboot our guy. This is our Oh we see a guy over there. Our guy wants to shoot people. He's just giving our position. I don't like this strategy. Giving away our position is usually not good. We can use this house, for example, to climb. That's good cover. They're shooting me from the other way around. Need to keep close to our guy. Okay. 
Eat the fish, my friend. Eat the fish, they're gonna shoot you down. Fuck me. God damn. We placed four. Oh God. Not bad, not bad. Let's play one more game. Now oh, what a funny backpack. So that's pre-battle map, let's mark a location for our fellow to know where we want to land. Uh, usually the bus will come from this way, so this half we better don't jump there. But we can, we can safely jump over here I think. I think there will be no problems there. Not so close to the bus, since everyone is jumping closer. I'll jump a little bit long, uh, far away from the bus. Jumping a little bit far away. And there is our guy. So we need to get to shifty shafts. <laughs> That's what the location is called. Shifty shafts. Since there is tunnels and shafts there. Okay, we start uh, loading weapons into our slots. I uh, don't like pistols. Yeah, I like SMG. When you hear this sound, it means that the treasure is close by. These treasures contain weapons, ammo and consumables. The yellow treasures contain less, less upgraded items and uh, the blue treasures contain a more powerful items so 
yeah we pretty much have all that we need for now when you when you hear your guys shooting usually means there is someone nearby but so we hear someone is shooting should we go check it out give small tip <laughs> out of stock Oh no, someone killed me, that's, <laughs> that's crazy, my guy is gonna be able to save me I hope, oh that's shockwave they're using. Those guys were good. Gonna play with someone new. That was a headshot with which would heal, he killed me. Only a headshot can can smash my armor and my health with one shot. That's the headshot. Only from that powerful sniper you can injure someone. In the head, headshot. Hmm. They took that for counter strike. Okay there. I don't like this plan but let's try it. A lot of people that go there because it's a popular location. Let's try, let's try. So from the previous battle you understand that you need to be moving all the time. You cannot afford to stay in one place. Only if you are sure there is no one. But usually you need to run 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 all the time. To not be things like that. To not. What do we have here? Some loud music. That's the cow catcher. You can use it for protection. shooting here
But where is my guy? What's he doing there? So strange. Use the cow catcher to protect yourself. Now I get to a higher location. Change the slots here. I need this armor. Okay, let's give this armor to our guy. Hmm, he found some armor. Okay, this is the shock wave. Shock wave is very important. You can Shoot yourself to a trajectories. Wow. Our guy found some golden weapons. You can shoot yourself and escape from situations, also get into situations with this one. Okay, let's check over there. You climb to a better position. Hmm, I don't use shotguns. Let's check with our sniper. What's going on there? No one there. Okay, we don't need to stay in one place. Where is my guy? He's going to the vault. In chapter 3, season 4, you have uh, vaults which you open with keys. Did he open it? No. We don't have a key. We need a key to open it.
Hmm. Not bad. Nothing here. We're just checking for an assault rifle, which is better. The colors of the weapons are gray, like now, doing less damage. A little bit more damage you get with a gray. After that, blue. After that, purple, and in the end, gold. So, the gold we can upgrade from here. Blue, purple, not bad. The sniper, missing some gold for the sniper. Okay. Yeah, the cow catcher you can put on a vehicle as well. It goes through buildings like that. Easily going through trees, buildings. Okay, we see a fight. Our guy killed that guy with a cow catcher. We can try tame some wildlife here. You need to jump on his back. Hey. guy has troubles probably oh key where is that key go we can open a vault now A lot of speed with this wildlife. Let's try to eject ourselves. Wow, not bad. 
Shock Magnet is helping you to to eject yourself and save you from situations or you can enter situations. With shift you can sprint. The wild boar is not bad, huh? Ejecting you. That was a catapult. Okay, let's help our guy. It's open ground, so we need to use sniper. Too far away. The guy is too far. Oh. What the hell? That guy was very, very good. Or just lucky.
<laughs> okay, that's enough gameplay. We finished third. Oh. Let's stay with this guy. She wants to make another game. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. No one ever knows. But not bad third position. Yeah, you can shoot the balloon to fall faster. So you pretty much get it how to play. Oh, crap. My guy is level 82. This doesn't mean he's super good or something, but it means he played more on this season. The level doesn't mean that you're super good. Okay, now we're starting shifty shafts. Let's try shifty shafts. It's not a bad location, shifty shafts. Last time I got killed there by single shot. Usually this doesn't happen, but it happened to me. In this video, three times. I don't know how they do it, really. Single shot, kill. Found some shotgun. Catcher. As you can see, my swords are the way the, the way I want them SMG is going to second position rifles are going to first position everything looks normal That rifle is not bad. I like it. Let's check over here. There are more shafts. Maybe I could find some armor.
Yeah, I found some. Oh yeah, this bar is kicking, kicking butt. Checking around. So I have a key, I can go to a nearest vault. The nearest vault is somewhere here. Let's try and find it. These blue chests give a lot of stronger weapons, always purple or Let's get some ammo. Cow catcher. Nah, I don't use them so often. Okay, let's return to our guy. Where is my pig? My pig will be tired soon. Let's follow this guy, see where he goes. Okay, we are on away from the storm now. I 
I don't have a sniper which is bad. Powerful sniper. to find some someone to kill already this vault is empty Explosive shots, interesting. As you can see the shockwave was is not bad. It's helping you get behind players. Our guy get, got a bounty. Let's check it out. This yellow circle on our radar shows. Pre not precisely, but shows his location on the map. 
Mm. Looks like he's close by. Somewhere in this direction, our bounty must be. Let's get a higher, higher ground position. It's interesting, it says our bounty must be here, but we don't see it. It should be right under us, our noses. But where exactly? Very strange. Oh. We need to change positions. God damn it. We finished third. Uh, not bad. Not bad, but I almost killed that guy. Look how much, how little health he has. Almost killed him. Okay, I think that's enough playing duels. I think you get the idea what you must do. Thanks for watching me. I hope you enjoyed my video. See you next time. Bye bye.